are the United Kingdom and France, frenemies for the ages. The pair have a long and engaging history. They've been at war, they've been at peace, they've been allies who have fought together on the battleground. Just over 19 nautical miles separates the shores of Great Britain and France at the narrowest part of the Strait of Dover. The pair are even joined together by the 50 mile stretch of the Channel Tunnel. These days they are connected, but that wasn't always the case. What if things soured and the pair once again found themselves at war? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that despite its name loves to answer questions big and small, wide and narrow. Because all questions deserve an answer and we are here to bring it to you. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking what if England and France went to war? Again. Blimey, I certainly hope that it never happens. Before we get into answering this question, I want to ask you guys where you are from and if you have ever visited your neighbouring country. I live in Canada right now, so my adopted neighbours are the United States and I see them plenty. While you're down there in the comments section, why don't you like this video and share it with a friend and hit that notification bell to be the first to hear a big answer. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll be reading out comments from a previous one. Ok, France and the United Kingdom, the UK and France, mon dieu, what a pair. The pair have had multiple wars, including the Hundred Years War, a war that lasted, you guessed it, a hundred years. Actually, it lasted 115 years, but what's a decade and a half of battle between friends? Then of course there was the Second Hundred Year War, which actually lasted 126 years, but honestly baby, who's counting? Fun fact of the day, did you know that England and Scotland unified basically because they wanted to join forces against France? On their own, they weren't good enough, but together they could just about handle it. After Napoleon things settled down, although there was the Fashoda incident as both reprehensible colonists scrambled to own parts of Africa. Since the mid 1800s, the UK and France have had a pretty good working relationship. The pair were allied against Russia in the Crimean War and then of course during World War 1 and 2. After that devastation, the bond between the two nations has become very strong. If they were to break down and go to war, something must have gone very very wrong. But enough beating around the bush, what would happen if they fought? The United Kingdom spends around 10 billion more a year on defence, which does put Britain above France in military standing, although in practice this isn't quite the case. The UK has less active army members than France and despite having better naval equipment than France, it does have a smaller fleet. France also has a slightly bigger air force, but the UK has better inceptors. Let's leave nukes out of it for a second, because once the nukes are deployed they really do tend to overshadow things somewhat. If the pair did go to war, the Dover Strait and the English Channel would be pretty damn tense, although I imagine each side would think better than to launch a brazen attack in these bodies of water. They would be heavily militarised and if any aggression did take place on either side, they would be ready and raring to go. Instead, it's more likely that attacks would happen further up the British coastline, or most likely cruise missile strikes and airstrike attacks. The UK have better inceptors as we mentioned, so they would be able to preempt attacks more so than the French. Ultimately though, both sides would look to damage one another's infrastructure, which would mean London and Paris would be dangerous places to be, as well as factories across the countries and areas key for transport. The United Kingdom has always fared well in traditional warfare because of its extensive coastline. France shares borders with Andorra, Belgium, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, Monaco, Spain and Switzerland. Strategically, this leaves France more vulnerable to attack, depending on how friendly it is with its neighbours. Although that being said, France is a bigger country which gives it more strategic depth. Ok, nukes then. You were waiting for this. Both the UK and France are nuclear nations. France has around 300 nuclear warheads and the UK has around 220. More doesn't necessarily mean better though, but it does give the French an advantage when it comes to targets that they could choose. It is unlikely that either nation would turn to nuclear war. The wider ramifications would be too great, not least because the blowback from nuclear winds would likely harm both nations anyway, but also it would greatly anger the UN and totally destroy nations. NATO. While both nations would avoid nuclear war, would they avoid chemical warfare? We know that the UK planned an anthrax attack on Germany in order to cripple their beef and dairy supply during World War II, but luckily it never happened. These days using chemical weapons is considered to be a human rights violation, but would it happen? Again, I hope not. So we've been kind of cheating. The question does actually ask what would happen if England and France went to war? We've been talking about the UK so far, as it's impossible for England as a country to go to war without 
without the rest of its gang, for now anyway. Right now, England isn't the most popular with the Scots or indeed the Northern Irish. A lot of people blame the English for the swing of the Brexit vote and they aren't happy to be dragged out of the EU. If a situation did arise where England as a solo nation went to war with France, well, long story short, England would lose. Not least because Trident, the British nuclear arm, is co-owned with Scotland. For now though, we are treating this question as if it applies to the whole of the United Kingdom. The wider implications of a war between the UK and France would be messy. Right now the countries are allies, so what would happen to their shared friends? I think France has more political friends than the UK at this point in time, although what about the United States? Ultimately, if two of the world's most powerful neighbouring nations did go to war, it would have the power to spark a much wider conflict, so more cool headed nations outside of the fray would look to encourage resolutions. With the shared history of the UK and France, I honestly don't imagine war breaking out again between the allies. But if it did, well, as a British citizen, I would be devastated if a booze cruise to Calais was off the agenda and French wine no longer available in Tesco. But the ultimate kicker for me would be the loss of French cheese. There is absolutely no universe where I could kiss goodbye to camembert, so I'd be switching sides. Meanwhile, I'm sure no one in France is going to be crying over the loss of bangers and mash or a Greg sausage roll. Wow, I wish I could end all videos with the mention of cheese and sausage rolls. The literal dream. Anyway, what do you guys think would happen if England or the UK and France went to war? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also don't forget to let me know who your neighbours are. Which country are you sharing a border with? Let's have some country chat in the comments section down below. Also while you're down there, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. Just before we head out of here, I'm gonna read some comments from our very contentious video, but also very educational, what if India and Pakistan went to war? Symbol1216 said, to all of the Indians and Pakistanis arguing in the comments, you're giving the British exactly what they wanted. Here, here. Tartan Deep left a very insightful comment. They said, I'm Indian and to be honest, I feel that we Indians and Pakistanis both want peace. The media is over exaggerating things in both countries so that the countries look bad to one another. In all honesty, I feel the politicians in both of the countries aren't trying to overcome the hatred. In turn, they're actually fueling the hatred of the citizens for their own power and support. Honestly, I think that that's a really, really interesting comment and maybe we all need to take a good look at who we hate and why. Is there a different reason. Couldn't we all just be friends? Good. Thank you. Great. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, stay curious, stay peaceful, camembert forever, and never ever stop questioning.